Good morning, children. Saira. Today we are just going to continue with the same lesson, landforms of the world. Okay. Before we start with the lesson, uh, we will just uh, see a small summary of what we have learned. Different features that make up the earth's surface are called landforms. We have four main landforms. What are they? Mountains, plains, plateaus and deserts. What are they? Mountains, plains, plateaus and deserts. Right? Known as a plateau. What are plateaus? A large area of land that is higher than the sand more or less flat at the top is known plateau. Okay. One of the example of a plateau is the Deccan Plateau. Okay. And uh, the Deccan Plateau is also called as, uh, is also has another name uh, called, uh, it is called as roof of the world. Okay. Deccan Plateau, right? Plains are flat lands with gentle slopes. A little slope will be there. Okay. So, what uh, rivers flowing from the mountains bring fertile soil to the plains. So, because the soil is fertile, more crops grow here. So, crops grow well here. So, what are plains? Plains are flat lands with gentle slopes so rivers flowing from the mountain bring fertile soil to these plains next plains are most thickly populated areas in the world plains are most thickly populated area in the world okay. the northern plain of india and the prairies of the usa produce large amount of wheat and grains. The northern plains of India and the prairies of the USA produce large amount of wheat and grains. Right? So, plains are more fertile. Okay? So, more plants, grains grows there. Right? Next. We saw what up plains. Before that we saw what are plateaus. Now we are going to see what are desert. So deserts are large, extremely dry areas of land. Deserts are large, extremely dry areas of land. There is very little rainfall and very few plants grow in desert. Deserts are large, extremely dry areas of land there is very little rainfall and very few plants grow in desert mountains that are formed when two large land masses push against each other are called fold mountains mountains that are formed when two large land masses push against each other are called fold mountains. Mountains that are formed when molten rocks from deep inside the earth rises to the surface forming a volcano or called volcanic mountains of it. Okay. Now, we are going to see what are block mountains. Mountains that are formed by splitting and sliding of large blocks of land are called block mountains. Mountains that are formed by splitting and sliding of large blocks of land are called block mountains. What are valleys? Right? The low land between hills 
or mountains are called valley. The low, narrow, natural gaps that the mountains have are called passes. We saw about these much, uh, this much topics. Now we are going to see about what are coast and peninsula. So first we are going to see what are coast and peninsulas. What are coast and peninsula? Right? So first a place where land meets the sea is called a coast. A place where land meets the sea is called a coast. So when you have, uh, you would have visited a beach, right? So the land meets the sea where you all will uh, go and stand, right? Uh, near the beach and all, uh, that water, near the water, that is called a coast. A place where land meets the sea is called a coast. A place where land meets the sea is called a coast. Right? Then, what is a peninsula? Now, a land mass which projects into the sea and is surrounded by water on all three sides is called a peninsula. A land mass which projects into the sea and is surrounded by water on three sides is called a peninsula. Right? So, the land will be uh, inside the water and uh, it will be surrounded on all three sides by water. Okay, the uh, other three sides by water. So, we saw about uh, coast and peninsula. Now, we are going to see uh, what are bays. Bay, okay. A bay is a water body running into land and surrounded on three sides by land. A bay is a water body running into land and surrounded on three sides by land. So, example of this is Bay of Bengal. Okay. A bay is a water body running into land. Okay, water body will be running inside the land and surrounded on three sides by land. All the three sides it will be surrounded by land. Okay. So a bay is a water body running into land and surrounded on three sides by land. Example is the Bay of Bengal. Right. Now we are going to see what are islands. Okay. A land mass surrounded by water on all sides is called an island. Okay. A land mass surrounded by water on all sides is called an island. Example of this is Andaman and Nicoba Island. Okay. A land mass surrounded by water on all three sides is called an island. Example is Andaman Nicobar Island. And Australia is the world's largest island. Australia is the world's largest island. Okay. So one more time. I will repeat. What are bays? A bay is a water body running into land and surrounded on three sides by land. So example of this is Bay of Bengal. And what are islands? A land mass surrounded by water on all sides is called an island. Example is Andaman and Nicoba Islands. 
okay so we saw about what are coasts peninsula then we saw about bays and island so next we are going to see about rivers okay long stream of water are called rivers so you would have uh, seen uh, some uh, rivers when you visited any places right it is long streams of water are called rivers okay rivers so we have uh, types of river one is perennial river and another one is seasonal river so rivers are streams of water are called rivers and perennial rivers have water throughout the year so we saw two types right perennial and seasonal the perennial rivers have water throughout the year okay and seasonal rivers do not have water throughout the year in a particular season only the, these rivers will have water so that is called as a seasonal river seasonal rivers do not have water throughout the year okay so the nile in egypt is the longest river in the world so the nile in egypt is the longest river in the world okay rivers are stream of water okay we have two types of rivers one is perennial river and another one is seasonal river so perennial rivers will have water throughout the year and seasonal rivers do not have water throughout the year they will have water only for a particular season okay and nile is the longest river in the world so we saw about rivers so river uh, we have next is tributaries and distributaries what are tributaries and distributaries okay several smaller rivers joining the main river are called tributaries several smaller rivers joining the main river are called the tributaries okay so many small rivers will join the main river right that is called as a tributaries okay so then what are distributaries the river becomes slow and carries a lot of sediment sediments means dust and uh, rock materials and everything okay this keeps getting deposited on the way and causes the river to break up into channels or distributaries so because of this blockage the river will be um, uh, the river will be uh, distributed to different places right so that is called as distributaries the river becomes slow and carries a lot of sediment this keeps getting deposited on the way and causes the river to break up into channels or distributaries okay so what are tributaries several smaller rivers joining the main river are called tributaries and distributaries uh, the river becomes slow and carries a lot of sediment this keeps getting deposited on the way and causes the river to break up into channels or distributaries okay so we'll just see uh, what and all we have seen in this class uh, quick summary so we saw about what are coast example is like beach when you see uh, go to beach you can see the coast there and peninsula is nothing um, it is water bodies cover the land on on three sides then bays then we saw about islands then we saw about rivers then we saw about tributaries and distributaries right so totally we saw uh, in this chapter what are landforms types of landforms uh, what are the mountains and hills and types of mountains we saw then we saw about plateaus plains coasts and peninsula then we saw about bay island rivers and la finally we saw about tributaries and distributaries okay children so with this we are finishing up this lesson
and uh, I'm I've given worksheet for this so these questions I've given as worksheet just go through the presentation find out the answers for these worksheets and reply okay so I'll just uh, read the questions for you the first one uh, what are planes the first question is what are planes second one is what is a peninsula what is a peninsula and the third one what is a desert what is a desert and the last question is what is the difference between a perennial and seasonal river right so answer these questions finish up the worksheet go through the presentations to have a better idea so after finishing uh, the worksheet uh, uh, I want you to mark these things in the map outline map of world this world outline map in that I want you to mark these places with the help of an atlas so it is very important you should know these places okay which we learnt now in this lesson of different landforms those things can be uh, marked with the help of atlas in an outline world map okay so just uh, first thing is mountains you are going to mark himalayas alps and rockies uh, then desert you are going to mark sahara kalari and thar and uh, river you are going to mark ganga nile and congo and for islands you are going to do uh, australia and greenland you are going to mark and for plateau you are going to mark uh, tibetan plateau and deccan plateau so go through the atlas and uh, mark everything properly and learn it okay you should know where these places uh, you have to mark in the map okay children so just uh, finish up the worksheets and do this uh, map work so, and also go through the presentation so that uh, you will have a, a better understanding of the whole lesson okay so and uh, revise all the questions which was given in the first worksheet and also now which I have given so both the worksheet all the questions go through it and do the map work okay children thank you Sairam